Hello everybody, I am Baljit Dhaka from Pinnacle Coaching Center and today we are going to discuss paper code 721. This is part 1. There are 4 part, parts of this uh, presentation, 4 parts of this test. This is the first presentation in which we will cover question from 20, question from 1 to 25. Question number 1 is, in triangle ABC, G is centroid. Let's say, this is triangle. A, B and C. G is centroid. This is centroid. What is centroid? When three medians from the vertex, when will they intersect at point, we will call it a centroid. AB is, AB is 15 centimeter. BC is 18 centimeter. AC is 25 centimeter. Find the value of GD where D is the midpoint of a BC. Midpoint of BC. This is D and this is G. Generally, centroid is denoted by G. So it is we have to find the value of this. Now here you can use here we are using Apollonius theorem. What is Apollonius theorem? A B square plus A C square is equal to 2 A D square plus B D square. And you must be knowing that the relationship between A G and G D would be 2 is to 1. So in fact this would be 1 by 3. B, this would be 1 by 3 of what? A, if we know the value of AD, then it will be 1 by 3 of a GD. Now from this, AB is 15. 15 square would be equal to 225. 15 square is equal to 225. AC. 25 square would be equal to 625. That is 850 is the value of this. 850 divided by 2, 4, 25. This is 425. And BD here is equal to BD here is equal to if this is midpoint then this would be 9 and 9. So 9 into 9. This is 9 into 9 would be equal to 81. So you can say 344. 344 is equal to AD square. AD square. You can write 344 into terms of a, it will be you make factor this is equal to 4 into 86 root of this would be equal to 2 and 86 2 root 86 is equal to value of ad 1 by 3 1 by 3 of ad is equal to gd 1 by 3 it means 2 by 3 80 root 86 2 by 3 root 86 d would be the answer Next question, question number 2. A sold an article for rupees 8000 and incurred a loss of a, incurred a loss. Had he sold the article for rupees 9800, his gain would have been twice the amount loss. Means this is 8000 and this is 9800. Here the gap is 800. And it was loss here, till here it was loss, but here this is profit and which is two times of this, two times of this. In other words, you can divide 800 into three parts, that is 600, 600 and 600. Now twice is the profit when it was, there is a loss, loss. So 9800 minus 1200 minus 1200 that would be equal to 86 or you can say 8000 so this is 8000 800 plus 600 that is 8600 so 8600 is cp from these two statements we can conclude that at what price should the article be sold to earn 25 20 percent profit now 8600 into 120 by this would be the price when he will selling at this price then he will be getting 20% profit that is 10,320 answer is a C next question question number 3 question is 
breadth of a rectangular hall is three time three fourths of its length. Let's say length is x, then breadth would be equal to three fourths of a x. If the area of the floor that is length into breadth, length into breadth, if you multiply it, then this would be area, which is equal to seven six eight. Then the difference between length and breadth means we have to find the value of a these two first and then difference. So you can say x square is equal to 246 into 4. x would be equal to 16 into 2. That is root of both sides. Root of 256 16 and root of 4 that is 2 32. x is 32. 3 by 4 of a, this would be equal to 24. So breadth is 24 and length is 32. Difference here would be equal to 8. Answer is 8. Next question, question number 4. The average marks obtained by 40 students of a class is 86. If 5 highest marks are removed, the average reduces by 1 mark. You can say 40 students and they are getting 86 average. So, total here it would be equal to 3440. If 5 highest marks are removed, now instead of 40, it is 35 students. Average reduces by 1 mark. Instead of 86, now average is 85. So, 35 into 85 would be equal to You can here multiply by 17 into 5 like this the into 5 2975 is the average here 295 is the total and the difference is difference would be 465 this is because of 5 student the difference here gap is 4 sheet by the, the, because of a 5 student. These are toppers, highest marks student, and that is equal to 93. So, average marks of the top 5 student is 93. Answer is C. Next question, question number 5. Area of sector, area of a sector of circle of radius 5 cm formed by the arc of a, formed by an arc of 3.5 cm would be how much? L into R divided by 2 is the area of segment. Area of segment, this is important. If you want to note down, then you can note down. Because this is in fact the derived from, from, derived from the value theta L by R. Or you can say pi R square theta by 360. And you can here put pi R square, pi R square into L by R. L by R and here you write 360 and here you write 180 so that should be equal to L by R in divided by 2. So always remember this directly it will be helpful because you are appearing for tier 2 exam and that is important that there are many things that you have to memorize. Length is 3.5 radius is 5 divided by 2 17.5 divided by 2 would be equal to 8.75 would be the answer answer is b next question question number 6 a trader buys goods at 20 percent discount on the mark price earlier is if it is mark price 100 at 20 percent discount he is buying at a 80 rupees 80 now is cp this is by cp if he want to make a profit now this trader is selling he wants to make a profit of 25 percent that is 125 divided by 100 this is sp after allowing a discount of 20 percent into 100 by 80 now this has become total has become mrp means the actual price that he should list that is equal to 125 
125. Now, what is the question? By what percentage should the mark price be greater than the original mark price? Original mark price was MRP was 100. Now, it should be 125. 25% more. Answer is a C. Next question, question number 7. Question number 7. In the figure given below, this is the figure. AB is a line of length 2A. This is 2A. It means this is A and this is A. With M as a midpoint, semicircle are drawn. These are semicircle. There are in fact three semicircle. On one side with AM and AB as diameter, a circle with center O and radius R, this is radius R, is drawn such that this circle touches all the three semicircle. These are three semicircle and this circle is touching to all three semicircles. What is the value of R? We have to find the value of a, this value of R. This is R, this is R and this is R. Now from this, from this, this is equal to A by 2 because from A to M this is A then it would be equal to A by 2. If we know the value of this would be this is R and this is A, A by 2. So here from the Pythagoras this would be a by 2 a by 2 is this and then plus r square of this would be equal to square of this is equal to a by 2 square plus this is entire is a here this entire this would be then this is a so then this would be equal to a minus r a minus r would be this size this is a minus r if this is a then then this would be a minus r or this is a entire entire is a why a because this is radius and total is 2a so this would be a and this is r so a minus r would be this line this line square of this would be so square of this and square of this is equal to square of this pythagoras we have used here now see if you open this one then we have, we have a square by 4 plus r square plus 2 into a r because a a by 2 and r it will cancel which is equal to a 4 plus 4 divided by 4 8 square divided by 4 a square divided by 4 plus a square plus r square minus 2 a r minus 2 a r you can you can cancel a square plus 4 a square plus 4 you can cancel r square you can cancel r square then this is equal to a r and here this is minus 2 a r so this would be it will go to this side then this would become 3 a r which is equal to a square which is equal to a square you can cancel to this so 3 r is equal to a what is the uh, what we are looking for what is the value of r r would be equal to a by 3 r is equal to a by 3 answer would be c next question question number 8 a man's losses 20.5 or 20 and half percent of his money and after spending 80 percent of the remainder he is left with 159 rupees how much did he have at first 20.5% per, 20 loss means on 100 rupees 20.5 that is remaining is 79.5 rupees after spending 80% of the remainder 80% of this would be equal to 
the ATP arrangement would be equal to Sixty-three point sixty-three point six zero. After spending eighty of the remainder, eighty percent, eighty percent of this is equal to sixty-three point six zero. Now he has spent remaining is equal to fifteen point nine rupees. He is left with one fifty-nine. How much did he have at first? If left is this, then earlier he was having hundred rupees, and the if left is one fifty nine, earlier he had one thousand rupees. Answer is D. Next question, question number nine. Height of a conical tank is this is conical tank, and height is given here sixty centimeter, and the diameter of its base is sixty four. That is Radius is 32 meter. Cost of painting it from outside at the rate of outside means here. That is curved surface area, which is pi R L, and at the rate of 35 square meter. So first we have to look for what is pi R L means curved surface area. So this value would be here. This is Pythagoras triplet. This is Pythagoras triplet. That is if I divide by 32 by 4. By four, then it will be eight here. Eight divided by four, then it will be here fifteen. Eight, fifteen, eight, fifteen, and seventeen is triplet. So fifteen into four, sixty. Eighteen into four, that is thirty-two. Sixteen into four, that is sixty-eight. So you can you can solve this. You can find the value of L that is sixty-eight by pi thousand triplet concept. Now, if this is sixty, pi R would be pi that is twenty-two by seven R. R would be equal to R is 32, L is 68, and at 35 rupees per square multiplied by 30, this would be the value of a. This is in fact square meter, and everything is given in centimeter. So 100 into 100, that is 10,000. You can divide it by. You can divide by. Then we will have. You can calculate here approximately. Calculate here approximately. Why you are calculating approximately? The reason is that reason is that because answer are are quite far away from each other. So here you can take thirty seventy twenty two uh, into thirty into seventy into five. Now it is easy to calculate one fifty four and then fifteen. It should be around twenty to twenty three. Twenty three is equal to this. Answer is D. Next question, question number ten. A cylindrical tank of diameter thirty five centimeter is full of water. If eleven liter of water is drawn off, the water level in the tank will drop by. Water level in the tank will drop by how much? How much would drop? This is 35 centimeter full of water. Now volume of cylinder is volume of cylinder is pi. That is 32 by 7 r square. Here this is 35 by 2, 35 by 2 r square, and h. H we have to find, and which is equal to 11 liter. In one liter, one liter. This is thousand. Uh, in one liter. 10 into 10 into 10 centimeter cubic is one liter. That is equal to 1000 cc cubic centimeter. Cubic centimeter, and from this you can find the value of this. This is in fact eleven liter, not one liter. Eleven liter. Let me calculate again. Twenty-two by seven into thirty-five by two into thirty-five by two 
into h is equal to 11,000 cc because this is 11 not 1 then this should be equal to it will go by 2 you can cancel to this it would be here 200 then 80 by 7 80 by 7 should be the answer this is 80 by 7 answer is D next question question number 11 for any integral integral value of at n 3 you can take here value of n is equal to 1 3 2 you can directly take and 9 instead of n we have taken value of n is equal to 1 plus 5 when divided by 3 will leave the remainder when divided by 3 will leave the remainder so 9 plus 9 18 plus 5 23 if it is divided by 3 it is divided by 3 then remainder would be 2 answer is b you can put anywhere you will get the same answer question number 12 three men a b and c working together can do a job in six hours less time than a alone in one hour less time than b alone and in one and a half the time needed by c when working alone then a and b together can do the job in how many hours let's say a b c working together they are doing in x hour a will take six hours more because they are taking six hours less so a is doing in x plus six hour and in one hour less time than b it means b will take x plus x plus one hour and in one half of that time needed by c in other words one divided by x plus c and one divided by x plus one x plus x plus, uh, plus one which is equal to which is equal to half time less half time means if total is one by x then half time would be equal to 1 by 2x now see the statement uh, again a b c working together can do a job in six hour less time than a it means a is doing x plus six hour and in one half of the one half of the time uh, one hour less time than b one hour less time it means b is doing x plus one one hour more time as compared to a b c because they will take less time, one hour and in one half of the time needed by c it means if they are doing in x then c will do c will do in 2x c will do in 2, 2x hour and 2x hour less means difference of this is equal to their work this is according to the statement now now then a b together can do the job in how much time this is little bit advanced level question and if you have done practice on such kind of question uh, uh, question earlier then you can solve easily this kind of question otherwise it will be very difficult to solve in the real exam so this statement you have to make according to this now this you have to solve means we have to find the value of a and b together can do first we have to find the value of x first we have to find the value of x then we can find easily role of a, a and b now see from this this would be in fact become quadratic equation because it is very difficult from the option to put here otherwise usually we should put here from the option but here there is no option besides quadratic equation this would be 1 by x minus 1 by 2x is equal to means this would be equal to 1 by 2x this is 1 by 2x now take uh, x plus 1 x plus 6 and x plus 1 this is LCM here x plus 1 and then it would be here x plus 6 which is equal to 1 by 2x in other words x plus x that is 2x plus 7 2x plus 7 into 2x into 2x which would be equal to 4x square 14x which should be equal to x square here the value would be value of this would be equal to x square plus 
x plus 6x and plus 6. So you can say x square plus 7x plus 6. So you put here x square plus 7x and plus 6. Now this should be equal to 3 equal to 4x square minus x square that is 3x square plus 7x minus 6 is equal to 0. 3x square 9x minus 2x minus 6 is equal to 0. Take 3x as a common then we will have minus 2x minus 3. Three x minus two and x plus three. These are the factor. It cannot be negative or cannot be negative. So three x is equal to two. X would be equal to two by three. X is equal to two by three. Now this is two by three. Question is A and B together can do the job in how much time? So this is two by three. So six plus two by three. And this is six uh, one plus two by three. This is A work and this is B work. In other words, in other words, this would be 820 by 3 and they will take 5 by 3 days. 5 by 3. Together they will take. Together they will take. Or you can put here directly because this is the work of them. So A and B work. So you can put directly which is equal to 1 by 2x. That is equal to 1 and value of x would be 2 by 3 that is 3 by 4 so in one hour this is one hour they are doing 3 by 4 part so they will take to complete the work 4 by 3 hours 4 by 3 hours 3 by 4 opposite of this would be equal to 4 by 3 hours so answer would be d answer would be d this is a little bit little bit complicated question but generally one or two questions you can find in that practice on this this is very important because you must understand or you must able to claim this expression this will solve the question this can solve the question because everything in the now again in fraction so it is little bit difficult to put from the option also question number 13 this is also a little bit the same variety or you can say variety can be a little bit different but you will find here some problem a swimming pool is fitted with uh, three pipes. First two pipes working simultaneously fill the pool in the same time as the third pipe alone. Second pipe alone fill the pool five hours faster than the first pipe and four hours slower than the third pipe. In what time will the second and third pipe together fill the pool? Here the first two Pipe working simultaneously fill the pool in the same time as the third pipe alone, second pipe alone fill the pool. This is the first uh, keyword. Second pipe alone fill the pool five hours faster than the first, let's say, second pipe. This is first pipe, and this is third pipe. Third pipe. Five hours. Second pipe alone fill the pool five hours faster than the first pipe. And if first pipe is filling, second pipe is filling in x hour, then first pipe will fill in x by x plus five hour. It means second pipe is faster by five hours. Second pipe fill the pool five hours faster than the first pipe, and four hours slower than the third pipe. It means third pipe would be filling in x minus 4 over. x minus 4 over. Because second pipe is slower, it means slower than third pipe. So third pipe will take less hour and which how many less? 4 hour less. So this is the question here. Here it is given first two pipes working simultaneously. This is 1 by x and 1 plus x plus 5 1 by x plus 1 by x plus 5 they are working together first and second pipe 
work in simultaneously fill the pool in same time as the third pipe alone at the same time a third pipe alone that is x minus 4 over so this is the equation here this is the equation here from this we have to proceed further now take here this would become now quadratic equation this would become quadratic equation because from the option also it will be difficult to put question is in what time will second and third pipe together fill the pool so it will be here difficult also from the option so you have to make quadratic equation solve through quadratic equation this would be equal to x plus 5 here and you will find x plus 5 and plus x is equal to x minus 4 you can say 2x plus 5 into x minus 4 should be equal to x and x plus 5 you cross multiply this you multiply this 2x square then minus 8x minus 8x plus 5x minus 20 is equal to x square plus 5x you can cancel 2x square minus x square that is x square x square you will find here minus 8x minus 8x plus 5x and here you will have 5x so you can cancel 5x 5x we will have minus 8x minus 20 is equal to 0 from this we find the value of this now you can make quadratic equation x square make minus 10x plus 2x because this is 20 here and minus 10x plus 2x that is it will be also 20 10 into 2 that is 20 minus 20 is equal to 0 take x as common then we will have x minus 10 and plus 2x minus 10 so we, you will have two, 2 factor that is x plus 2 and x minus 2 that is equal to 0 so value of x would be equal to 10 because it cannot be negative so value of where x we could find 10 now from this from this second and third question is in what time will the second and third pipe together will fill, pull, fill the pool it will be 1 by x plus 1 x minus 4 that is 1 by 10 plus 1 by 6 that is equal to 30 you can take LCM then 3 and 5 that is 8 by 30 8 by 30 in 1 hour so 30 by 8 would be the answer that in 1 hour work is 8 by 30 so to complete the work it will take 30 by 8 that is 15 by 4 hour 15 by 4 hour would be equal to 3.375 answer is b answer is b so it was a little bit lengthy question but if you do practice and if you know the step that this lesser and faster you have to make it in this format and use this expression ultimately you will be able to because then uh, uh, this is the calculation part this is the cal calculation part concept is still here only so next question question number 14 arranging the following descending order we will get now in such kind of question what you have to do is that take take common factor that is lcm 3 6 4 that would be equal to 12 so convert in this you can write these into this format 1 by 3 to 1 by 2 here then 1 by 6 and 5 1 by 4 now you convert take lcm you can write this expression into 1 by 12 that is equal to 1 by 4 1 by 12 which is equal to this and then 1 by 12 then 5 1 by 12 now we have written in this format take 12 then 4 by 4 12 as a root in form of this then we will have so this is now common 12 common 12 6 this is 12 then 3 9 and 12 then we will have 5 3 it will be equal to because this is common now in every case 
so larger the number inside bigger the number here it will be equal to 2 4 into 4 4 4 16 16 to 16 to 56 here it will be equal to 2 power 3 that is 8 into 8 64 here you will have 9 and here you will have 125 so see from the option what is the question in descending order this would be the high biggest that is this is biggest number one biggest in one option there is only in one option this is given so you can without any uh, without any confusion you can directly put here second would be this this is also satisfying second would be this this is also satisfying everything is satisfying from only one you can find the value of this answer is a next question question number 15 the base of a right prism is a quadrilateral a b c d given that a b 9 a b and d a b a b 9 b c 14 c d 13 d a 12 and d a b 90 degree this is quadrilateral d a b this is 90 degree a b c d and here a b is 9 b c 14 c d 13 d a 12 and d a b 90 degree of the if the volume of the prism is 2070 volume is given here 2070 volume of the prism is always area of the base into height area of base into height which is equal to 2070 now this is in fact a quadrilateral so area of the quadrilateral we have to find first and then we can find the value of height value of height then area of the lateral surface would be lateral surface means in this case of like uh, cylinder it is curved surface area in the same case in prism it will be lateral surface area and that is equal to parameter into height like uh, in cylinder 2 pi rs so because prism is analogous to cylinder so 2 pi rs means parameter into height parameter into height we know here from this value of parameter that is that is 13 plus uh, 12 that is 50, uh, 25 25 plus 14 and 9 23 25 plus 23 that is 48 is parameter if we know the height if we know the height we will be able to find the area of uh, lateral surface area so to know the value of height what we have to do is that we have to find the area of this 9 because this is 90 degree Pythagoras triplet 9 12 15 this is Pythagoras triplet. From this, you can find the area of this 1 by 2 base 9 height 12. That is equal to 56. So, area of this portion is 50, 54, which is 54. Now, from this area, this is in fact scalene triangle, and area of scalene triangle can be found from a Heron formula that is semi parameter. This is equal to S S. A, S, B and S, C and here S is semi parameter which is equal to 15, 13 and 14, 15 plus 13, 28 plus 14, 42, semi parameter would be equal to value of S would be equal to 21, 42 divided by 2 that is 21. So 21 into 21 minus 14 that is 7, 21 minus 15 that is 6, 21 minus 13 that is 7 that is 7 sorry 8 21 minus 13 is 8 now root of this would be equal to you can make factor 7 into 3 now 7 2 into 3 and here 8 8 into 2 that is root of this would be equal to 8 into 2 16 root of 16 is 4 This is 3, 7 into 3, 7 into 7 you can take 1, 3 into 3 you can take 3. So this is the area of a, 84 is the area of this portion, 84, 84 plus 54, 138, 138 is the area of a, this portion. So 138 into H is equal to 2070. 
Now it will go by 15. So value of h is 15. 48 into 15. 720 would be the let us raise here, answer is A. Next question, question number 16. Volume of right circular cylinder and sphere are equal, means pi r square h and 4 by 3 pi r cube is equal. Radius of the cylinder and diameter of the sphere are equal. It means this would be equal to r by 2. Here this is r then this would be equal to d, d by uh, this is in fact a radius of cylinder is equal to the diameter of a diameter sphere. It means this would be half, half radius r by 2. Ratio of the height and radius of the cylinder would be. Now you can cancel pi pi and then let me write here r square h is equal to 4 by 3 and r3 and here it will be 8 2 power 3 that is 8 you can cancel to here h by r h by r is equal to 1 by 6 ratio of height and radius is 1 is to 6 answer is d next question question number 17 A wire of length 44 cm is bent to form a circle. 2 pi r is equal to 44. 2 into 22 by 7 r is equal to 44. r is equal to 7. And the rebent to form a square. This now rebent and 11, 11, 11 and 11 because this is the length of wire. Difference of the two enclosed area. Area of this would be equal to 22 by pi r square that is 7 into 7. 154 is the area of a circle and 11 into 11 that is 121 is the area of a square. So difference would be 154 and 121 difference would be 33. Answer is a B. Next question, question number 18. A shopkeeper listed the price of goods at 30% above the cost price. Means if it is 100 CP, then 30% above means 130 MRP. Mark price you can say. He sells half the stock at this price. Half the stock that is 50% means 65 rupees he has sold. Value of 65 rupees he has sold. And he sell half the stock at this price, one fourth of the stock at a discount of 15%. So remaining is one uh, 65, one fourth, one fourth would be equal to half, one fourth of this total would be equal to half, that is 32.50 value. He is selling one, one fourth of this 32.50 at 15% discount, at 15% discount. That is equal to discount, total discount given is here. Four point eight seven five rupees he is given discount. So he is selling the item in twenty seven points. 625 rupees and the remaining remaining is again 1 by 4 why because this would be 32.50 and 32.50 so 32.50 right here 32.50 he is selling at a discount of 30 percent discount of 30 percent discount total would be equal to discount here would be equal to 9.75 rupees 9.75 is the discount. If you subtract here 9.75, then we will have 22.75 rupees. Now, total he is getting 22.75 rupees from this 
0.7625 from this and 65 from this 65 from this total he is getting One hundred fifteen rupees three seven five. Now CP was hundred rupees. What is the question? His overall profit is his overall profit is the difference of this would be equal to fifteen point three seven five. Fifteen point three seven five, which is equal to because everything is now fifteen percent. So three seventy five by hundred by one thousand. That is equal to. Five by eight, fifteen plus three by eight. That is A should be the answer. Next question, question number nineteen. A takes three times as long as B and C together. B and C together. Let's say B and C they are taking X hours, X days, X days. Then A will take. Three times that is three x three x days. B takes four times as long as B, A and C uh, together do the work. If all the three working together can complete the job in twenty four days, all the three. It means one by x and plus one by three x. So A B C would be equal to here one by twenty four. One by twenty-four because they are doing in one day one by twenty-fourth part. Or you take here three x as LCM three plus one that is four three x which is equal to one twenty uh, one by twenty-four. In other words, x is equal to here x would be equal to thirty-two. If x is thirty-two. Then A would be ninety six. Three X would be ninety six. Question is A alone will take the to finish the job. Answer would be ninety six. Answer is B. Next question, question number twenty. A shopkeeper allows a discount of ten percent on the market price of an item, but charges a sell tax of eight percent. Hundred rupees is MRP. Discount of ten percent that is ninety rupees SP. But charging eight percent on the discounted price, eight percent, eight percent of this would be equal to seven point two. It means ninety seven point two he is selling, ninety two point ninety seven point two rupees he is selling. If the customer pays three four zero two as the price, including the sales tax, means this is the discount um, plus tax charges. Mark mark price would be if customer pays ninety seven point two rupees, then MRP is hundred rupees. If it pays one, then it would be ninety-seven point two, and if it pays three four zero two, then three four zero two. Then, in place of decimal, you can write here. So you can cancel. It will go by two. Then it will be here fifty. Again, you can write here. It will go by fourteen. Three thousand five hundred, thirty-five hundred would be the answer is B. Three thousand five hundred would be the market price. Answer. Question number twenty-one. Milk and water in two vessels A and B are in the ratio of A and B are in the ratio four to three. Milk would be four by seven, and in this milk would be two by five. Two by five. In what ratio liquid in both the vessels be mixed to obtain new mixture? New mixture in vessel C containing half milk and half water. Half milk and half water. That is one by two in the milk portion. One by two. This is milk portion. Everywhere we are taking milk portion. So one by two minus two by four would be equal to one by ten. Here would one by ten, and here we will have one by two minus one four by seven. That would be equal to One by fourteen. One by fourteen. Cross multiply, then we will have fourteen and ten. That is seven is to five ratio. Seven is to five ratio. Answer would be A. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू टू नंबर ए एंड बी आर सच दैट द सम ऑफ फाइव परसेंट ऑफ ए फाइव बाई हंड्रेड ऑफ ए एंड फोर परसेंट ऑफ बी दैट इज फोर बाई हंड्रेड ऑफ बी इज इक्वल टू टू बाई थ्री ऑफ द सम ऑफ सिक्स परसेंट सिक्स बाई हंड्रेड ऑफ ए एंड एट परसेंट ऑफ बी एट बाई हंड्रेड ऑफ ए बी The ratio of a is to b. Now this is the question we have to find the ratio of a is to b. You can take here one by hundred as common. So five a plus four b, and here also take one by hundred as a common. So it will cancel one by hundred and one by hundred. So we will have two by three, six a and eight b. Cross multiply, then we will have to this side fifteen a plus twelve b is equal to twelve a plus 16b, 16b. We will have 3a is equal to 4b. A by b would be equal to 4 by 3. A ratio b would be 4 is to 3. Answer is a. Next question, question number 23. A conical vessel whose internal radius is 12 centimeter and height 50 centimeter is full of liquid. The content are emptied into a cylindrical vessel with radius internal that is 10 cm. Height to which the liquid rises in the cylindrical vessel would be how much? Now internal radius. This is conical vessel. You can say this is conical vessel, and this is cylindric. Volume would be same in both the cases. So 1 by 3 pi r square that is 12 into 12 and h height 50 is equal to pi. R square here would be equal to 10 into 10, and h, which is the rise in water level, we have to tell value of h. You can cancel pi pi, then this should be equal to 4. 50 you can cancel to this. You will have 12 into that is value of h would be would be equal to 24. Answer is C. Next question question number 24. A student find the average of ten two digit two digit number. Ten two digits numbers. If the digit of one of the number is interchanged, interchange means if this is x y, then you can write here ten x plus y, and then this would become ten y plus x if it is interchange like w x y x. The average increase by three point six. It means total increase would be. 10 into 3.6 that is 36 if a number is exchanged the difference between digits of the two digit number difference between x and y would be how much now if it is 10x plus y minus 10y minus x that is 9x minus 9y is 36 or you can say x minus y would be 36 divided by 9 that is 4 9 would be common here Here the difference between two digits would be equal to four. Answer is A. Next question, question number twenty-five. Three coins of same size, radius one centimeter, are placed on a table such that each one of them, each of them touches the other two. Area enclosed by the coins. These are coins. Three coins. These are. Three coins and radius one centimeter. Radius one centimeter each. Area enclosed by the coin. We have to find the value of this. This portion we have to find. How can we find area of this triangle minus area of this portion? This portion. This portion. This would be equal to half circle. Why? This is 60 degree equilateral triangle. 60 degree, 60 degree, 60 degree. So 180 degree means half of the circle. Root 3 by 4 a square and a here is equal to 1 and 1 that is 2. So 2 into 2 that is 4. This is area of a equilateral circle, equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle that is equal to root 3. Now area of equilateral triangle is root 3 minus Minus half of circle, and pi radius is one divided by two. Pi by two, you can say. 
pi by 2. So it should be equal to root 3 minus pi by 2 answer would be b. So in this presentation we have covered question from 1 to 25. In the next presentation we will cover question from 26 to 50. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. All the